You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. The NBA playoffs are just two weeks away and with a new look this season, there will be a play-in <laughs> tournament this season before the first round of the playoffs to determine who gets the seven and eight seats. Now, this will include the teams with the seventh highest through the tenth highest winning percentages in each conference. Yeah, it's kind of like the first four, right? Yeah, um, playing games. I, I'm not sure I really understand I it don't. all. I don't, to be honest. So, yeah, there you go. You have it. The seven uh, seed and eight teams will play. Winner slides into the seventh seed of the playoffs, and the loser of that game plays the winner of the matchup between the nine and ten for the eighth seed in the, in the playoffs. After that, it's normal playoffs, best of seven series. Uh, what do you think? You like it? I'm I know okay LeBron does it. I heard. I was just gonna. You stole my line, Sorry. Keith. I was gonna say LeBron. He was liking it when they were gonna be in there. Now he's like, <laughs> I don't know. Which okay, I get it. But of course, the NBA playoffs are always relevant for Kentucky basketball. Duh. If the postseason <laughs> began today, 13 of the 20 teams that would make it have a Kentucky player on their roster for 18 cats total, and it could be more. There are a few teams on those outside teams looking in, like De'Aaron Fox's Kings, who are looking to make a push here in the last couple. of of weeks of the regular season. Julius Randle continued his hot play, leading the Knicks to their 12th win in 13 Randall games Monday night in Memphis. Yeah. Randle scored 28 points and was asked afterwards if he belongs in the conversations for Randall MVP working. in the Latonics NBA. I'm not going to shy away from it. Uh, for, for me, it's about getting better from game to game, improving as a player. Uh, you know, I, I'm not focused on it. You know, the praise obviously is great and everything. I'm not focused on it, but uh, for me, I'm not worried about it. It's going to keep me better. Uh, keep leading the team. Love that he's not shying away from it. MVP considerations might be a little while away, but Randall was named Eastern Conference Player of the Month after averaging 27 points, nine rebounds, and six assists in April. Randall is the first New York Knicks player uh, to ever record 25 points per game, five rebounds per game, five assists per game, and a 40% or higher clip for three-pointers in a calendar month, Anna. Now, that's not bad from a historic team like that. But again, they didn't always have the three-point line, but still, uh, that's a good place to be. Also, wow. I'm voting for his little boy, Kaiden, as MVP of the best fan. Anthony Davis, he's carrying the water for the short-handed Lakers. LeBron James had to sit out with ankle soreness, but AD scored a team-high 25. And let me know if you've heard this before. He sealed the game with an incredible block in the final seconds. That sounds about right. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's back, looks good, but... Uh, the team still got a little bit of work to do. Uh, maybe in those, in those play-in play games. games right? <laughs> <laughs> and just because Jamal Murray's season is over after tearing his ACL last month, doesn't mean he can't do a little bit of everything he can to still help his team. Uh, here he is in pregame warm-ups. I love this. Trying to block shots with his crutch. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> get you a Jamal. Yeah, trying to get <laughs> Trying to get his teammates ready for Anthony Davis's long arms, but uh, of course, uh, as you saw just a second ago, didn't quite work out. Maybe if Jamal was on the court, he could have gotten that shot off over AD. That's A for effort, Jamal. We're proud of you. <laughs> Career night for Hamadou Diallo. The former cat put up 35 points in seven boards in a loss to the Hornets and then in three of his former Wildcat yeah. teammates. Jello's performance is even more impressive because he's in the middle of Ramadan and he's abstaining from food and liquids from dawn to dusk. So he had his first bite of food and drink of the day at 8.39 p.m. That was after he had already scored 16 points in the first half. Hmm. And last night, Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns won their fifth straight, came against Cleveland in overtime. Now Booker scored a game-high 33 points Came up big in the fourth quarter and in overtime. Look at the last five for Booker. He's averaging just under 30 points a game, and the Suns are undefeated over this stretch, and they have the best record in the NBA this season. Almost unbelievable when you think about how downtrodden the Suns were. Yeah. When they drafted Booker, they just couldn't mm -hmm. seem to get help for him. That's and, right. And, you know, they were just struggling, struggling. Now, bring in Chris Paul, mm -hmm. Devin Booker still learning killing it seems it. night in and night out That's yeah right. killing it. and here they are one of the top teams in the league now it has been fun to watch them to oh, watch yeah. any kentucky players prosper really but especially devin booker because i think we all saw the potential while he was uh -huh. at kentucky all right stay right there we have much more coming up after this you're watching bbn tonight